today we are going to learn about the Frozen Optical PPF. That's right, Optical has a new Frozen matte film now available and we're in Marietta, Georgia at Lejeune Detailing to install this new film on this Fisker Ocean One. So this right here is a satin car and we are putting the frozen film on the top of it to keep that satin look. Okay, so what we have here is the hood that is wrapped in the satin frozen film and then the fender is not wrapped. You can see how nice it matches. Woo! Woo! Wrapped or not wrapped. Woo! So we're doing PPF on hood, fenders, headlights, and the bumper. Right now, Eman's doing the edges. So we got everything done. We had to fight a couple of dust and debris in the hood, but overall, it's come out really well. So next, we're moving on to the fenders. If you have a car with this type of paint, if you get a rock chip, you can't fill it. You can't really get touch of paint for it because you don't have matte touch of paint, right? If you get a scratch on it, that's it, right? You're gonna have to repaint the whole hood. And then to match the hood to the fenders with the same paint is damn near impossible. So you really have to take care of your paint and most people don't. So if you put on some PPF, you can make this your sacrificial layer, preserve your paint. And if something does happen to this, you can replace it. You can bring it to us, you can bring it here, you can bring it to Knoxville and you can get it replaced rather quickly and it's gonna be way less than a brand new paint job. Now we're cruising, we got both fenders going on. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Cause like I don't have like my stuff, you know? Yeah. I can literally see the film relax as that water touches it. It's insane. Yeah, that's a dramatic difference. Wow. Yeah. We've never actually tried that, I don't think. Biggest challenge with this car so far? The the pr initial prep of the vehicle. Well, cause it's matte paint, so you can't clay it and you can't really take anything abrasive to it to clean it. So there's little microscopic stuff that's stuck to the paint. And we got, let's say 90% of it, right? But for, but for PPF, it has to be 99%. Yeah, you have to take it to above and beyond. So we, I would want to clay this paint, but like we might damage it, right? So it's... <laughs> It might be that, but I think it's, I think it's, it's I, I think it's, the, moved over from when it's we got the paint. Here. I didn't want to blame it on that. But. It's a, it's a little bit of both, really but this is fun. We're, now I'm having fun. There's so much to learn, like right here. Like everything that I'm doing, like why am I doing this with my finger, you know? Like all I'm doing here is feathering that line. Hide it in this body line. Just find a good place, make it nice and even. You see how it's kind of even all the way through? you don't have a line. Most people would just go like, they would just go in like, just really sharp. yeah, they would be aggressive. They would do like that, that leaves a line, right? But it won't leave a line if you feather it. Feather and then stretch back into place and then you won't get the line. We just finished this fender and I want to remove this piece so I can get the film wrapped right behind here. If you get real close up here, Jay, you can see that I can't really wrap this area because this hand is in my way. So if I remove this cap, and I can sit this back down, and I should be able to access this area with some good amount of heat, and then I can wrap it and make sure that it stays in place. Right here, there's a small little arm that I have to pry, and then this should slide out. Uh, it does make this even easier, yeah, so now I can get a, a nice piece on here and then I can get a nice wrap and now I can actually see how much I'm wrapping and I can ensure I can get good heat on this and I can get this to hold really nicely. And now here, I have great access to this area so now I can wrap this perfectly. 
cool little tricks to make, to bump up your, your install. All right, so we, um, we finished most of the frozen pieces, and then we have a couple of headlights, fog lights, and small black trim pieces that I just printed out in our clear film. We just weeded it out, so we're about to slap those pieces on. For any of these clear pieces, I would just line up the left side. Mm -hmm. I would line this up plus the little top corner, okay. and then whatever the Wherever it lands on the front, okay. that's it. What's it doing with standard distilled water? It works even better. A lot of people like it over in the East Coast, West Coast, a lot of people on the West Coast, they're running just distilled water as their tack. So hot distilled water, dude, and they're fucking laying everything super nice. It's after shots time. This project turned out phenomenal. If you're looking to protect your matte vehicle or want to change the look of your gloss paint, check out the description below for an optical installer near you. Thanks for watching.